Good morning, Miss Weiss. Good morning, Mr. Morning. I need to inform you that your colleague Frank Coleman has been suspended. Frank? Suspended? Why? The only thing you need to know right now is that I will be filling his spot for the time being. Okay, so do the envelopes go to you now? Miss Weiss, if that was not a poorly timed attempt at comedy, the best I can do is pretend you never said this. All right. I'm just going to walk away and pretend Frank's going to be okay. Have a good day, sir. Providence Oaks, good morning to you. Theo, positive or that key. Today's contribution is from Matt Kearney. I have a positive. Last night's thunderstorm over the lake, what a spectacle. I'm glad my barn's still standing, but thanks for calling in, Matt. I didn't bring the package. Oh, that's heavier than I thought. Ah, there's the mail. How's the photography coming along? My photography quest has been completed. Here's your equipment back. Okay then. Let me see if I can manage to develop them. Come back tomorrow for the results. Thank you. See you tomorrow. What's this? The Flick Shack has closed down and will not reopen. Any unreturned tapes can be dropped off before September 22nd. It has been a privilege to serve as Providence Oaks' premier home cinema provider. Thank you for your patronage. All the best. Your Flick Shack proprietor, Angie. Hmm.
Here's your mail. than I thought. Nope. No answer. Hi, Maureen. P.O. people, I need to pause the music for a special message. Uh, hush, darling. I want to hear this. And so do you. It's from our own Robert Harris, who wants to keep Providence Oaks pretty. Uh, don't flatter yourself. He's talking about the trees. Take it away, Robert. Dear people of Providence Oaks, I'm Robert Harris, 
and I oppose the plans for new apartments on Lakeview Drive. If you feel the same, let Town Hall know about it and give them a call. Let's keep Providence Oaks pretty. Isn't that something? It could have been more juicy, I guess. But it does say exactly what he wants it to, which is rare for our Robert. Even though he does have his redeeming qualities, doesn't he just? I wonder how he came up with the idea, though. Actually, I helped out a bit when he was recording it at Jack's studio. Is that right? Now, Maureen, don't Maureen this out of proportion. I see. Robert wasn't kidding when he said uh, he wants to keep pretty things around in Providence Oaks now, was he? You think so? Well, that's what I heard. Anyway, I actually wanted to talk to you about something else. What are you doing this Sunday evening, hon? Something tells me I'm about to find out. You know it. Listen here. I'm hosting a very special first time open mic night this upcoming Sunday. We'll have some drinks, some food, discover the town's hidden talent or not. If you know what I mean, it'll be a hoot. More like a hoot and a half. Count me in. Good. I already had you down on my list, of course. But it's nice of you to RSVP. That's settled then. I will see you this Sunday at 8 p.m. And tell everyone you meet, okay? Let me see you put those postal delivery muscles to good use. Why do I have the feeling I don't have a choice here? There you go. You're catching up. Now I have to go unpack some deliveries out back, but I will see you soon, darling. And don't forget about the open mic. I couldn't if I wanted to. lighter than I thought. Mail carrier Meredith! Farmer Jack. Good to see at least someone's working today. As opposed to Frank? As opposed to me. Can't harvest taters with all this rain. But Frank's not twiddling his thumbs, I can tell you that. You spoke to him? Yeah, just talk to him on the phone. He's mad as a wet hen. It's quite entertaining, actually. Thanks for dropping by, mail carrier Meredith. I gotta get back to it. Isn't it well past harvesting season? True enough, but uh, something else is keeping me occupied. And what's that? Can't say, mail carrier Meredith. Can't say. Have a good one.
Hello? Hi, Meredith. It's me. Oh, hi, Dad. What's up? The sun is up, the sky is blue. Life's good here. <laughs> nice. Wish I could say the same. I hope you mean about the weather. Well, it did rain a lot here today. Oh, just wait until the wet season really starts. It never ends. Why haven't you told her yet? Let me talk to her. Well, excuse me, Mrs. Weiss. Meredith, sorry to break it up. Your mom wants to talk to you. Meredith, I'm so excited. Your dad and I found this cottage this weekend near the beach. It's so pretty. Not too big, but who wants to be inside anyway? Uh, me? I like to be inside. I know, honey, but hear me out. We talk to the owner. We can rent it for the time being, spend the winter here. And if we like it, we can buy it and settle down here for good. Wow, that's quite a big step. Life-changing and all that. Isn't it something? And uh, it means that our house will be vacant for a while. We won't put it on the market until we've tried out Florida for a few months. So, um, if you want to extend your stay in Providence Oaks... Are you serious? I'm pretty serious, yes. But uh, it's a pretty big deal, so just think about it for now, hmm? Can I talk to her for a sec again? Yeah, here comes your dad again. My dear, I'm going to get us something bubbly. Hey, Meredith, just wanted to say that I'll call again at the end of this week. Have a great one. Okay. Bye, Dad. Memories, memories, memories. Of you and me Memories Oh, Mickey, <laughs> that was so deep. Right, Meredith? Oh, yeah. Awesome. It's in the darkness when my soul stars align and illuminate the real me. Oh, baby, I'm so happy for you. We, we need to celebrate this moment. I'll be right back, ladies. Mickey can be difficult sometimes, but nights like these, I wouldn't want to be anywhere else but with him. And that's why you're following him all the way to Canada? It's also that he needs me. He would get into trouble without me. Is she interrogating you again, June? Oh, Mickey. Be nice to sweet Meredith. <laughs> I'm just kidding now. Uh, sorry for being a hard ass the other day, Meredith. It's just that we need to be a bit cautious. It's okay, Mickey. I've had worse delivering mail. Delivering mail for the man? I couldn't do that. The man? What man? The man, you know, in general. Anything with authority, in whatever shape or form it appears. I think I know what you mean. Feeling like a prisoner of society. Hey guys, let's not spoil this evening with heavy stuff, okay? Ah, you're so right, Junebug. Who cares about the man when I've got you? There's something that'll make you feel lighter. Much lighter. <coughs> Meredith! No thanks. I'll pass. June? Maybe later, Mickey. Meredith, how about some booze instead? No thanks, June. I'm good. Aww. I guess I'll drink some wine by myself then. Be right back. Memories, 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 
of you and and me. Memories. So, are you guys on the run? What can I say? We've got a few unpaid parking tickets. Mickey had an argument with some cop, and then there's a bit of college and tax debt. Nothing major, so we're not really on the run. It's more like speed walking. I'm sure you'll have more peace in Canada. I hope you guys will be happy there. It's so exciting. Damien will pick us up with his Jeep tomorrow morning. We'll have a cozy hour under the blanket, swim across the border, and then we're good. Hey, I just realized we're abandoning the RV. You should totally have it. Mickey, can Meredith have the RV? What piece of junk? <laughs> Knock yourself out. Really, guys? That's awesome. No problem. We don't really believe in possessions anyway. Whatever you decide, we'll leave it at the gas station. That's where we rendezvous with Damien. Wild. Memories, memories, memories of you.